It's a serious contest between two camera-centric phones. Today, we are going to compare the two giants of tech, Google's Pixel 8 Pro against Apple's iPhone 15 Pro Max. So, before you choose your favorite, let the two cameras compete in a cutthroat face-off. iPhone 15 Pro Max is Apple's newest top-of-the-line smartphone. When it comes to the camera, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is the winner compared to its predecessor, 14 Pro Max. The iPhone 15's lightweight titanium design has already captivated the public. So, brownie points to Apple for keeping up with the overall aesthetics. The iPhone 15 Pro Max boasts a main camera sensor that's even bigger than 14 Pro Max's 48 megapixel. The customizable action button exclusively featured in iPhone 15 Pro Max will help launch the camera more quickly. But the real deal that upped Apple's camera game in 15 Pro Max is its A17 Pro chip. This means more fluid graphics and realistic lighting. On the other hand, Google Pixel 8 Pro captures sharper and more detailed portrait shots compared to its predecessor, the Pixel 7 Pro. Google upgraded the Pixel 7's 12 megapixel ultra-wide camera to 48 megapixels. The Pixel 8 Pro not only produces less noisy images in dimly lit situations, but also does wonders for those close-up shots. With its upgraded low apertures, more light will make its way to the Pixel 8 Pro's sensor, resulting in improved image quality. Google Pixel 7 Pro's Google Tensor G2 has been upgraded to G3 in the Pixel 8 Pro. The iPhone 15 Pro Max keeps its camera module classy with that familiar rounded square and three lenses all topped off with a raised back. Google Pixel 8 Pro on the flip side has a more unconventional design. The cameras are built in inside a capsule right beside the flash, sitting on top of the metallic rectangle. Appeal-wise, we gotta give it to the iPhone 15 Pro Max to win the battle of aesthetics. iPhone 15 Pro Max's 48 megapixel camera can do some serious magic with its three different focal lengths. Not to forget, it also has a 12 megapixel telephoto lens that can zoom in up to five times. Coming to the Pixel phone series, Google has continuously dropped some serious megapixels to the phone market since the last few years. This time, it's a whopping 50 megapixels for its main camera. It's even got a 48 megapixel ultra-wide camera and a 48 megapixel telephoto camera. Apple uses sapphire crystal to protect the delicate lens from scratches and damage. This protection against scratches is missing on Google's Pixel 8 Pro. But if we compare the camera design and placement, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is more prone to such incidents as the camera is placed outward over the back surface. It was Google Pixel's camera system that made it famous around the world, so now you can imagine how exceptional its cameras have been. Meanwhile, the iPhone has been more famous for the brand itself. Its camera is a big part of the success too. But the whole iOS versus Android debate and global standing of the iPhone overshadows the reason that people may be buying the iPhone only for its camera. Google Pixel may not relate to this since it's nowhere near the success of the iPhone worldwide. But one thing's for sure, many people consider buying Google Pixel mainly because of the camera system. So now you know the comparisons between them are going to be exciting. Let's get to it. The iPhone 15 Pro Max has a massive 48 megapixel main camera with a wide f1.78 aperture. It's all about those super high resolution photos at both 24 megapixels and 48 megapixels. Plus the 100% focus pixels ensure every pic is spot on. On the other side of the ring, we have the Pixel 8 Pro sporting a 50 megapixel wide main camera with an f1.7 aperture. This phone also rocks the ability to snap pics at 24 megapixels and 48 megapixels. But wait, there's more. The Pixel 8 Pro has an 8x super res zoom feature that uses AI to enhance the digital zoom quality. This is how a typical outdoor evening would look through the lens of the iPhone 15 Pro Max and Pixel 8 Pro's main camera. Both cameras have done a great job capturing all the details in high resolution, but we can see some differences in the brightness. The Pixel 8 Pro has a vibrant look that's bringing out the lively atmosphere of the scene. On the other hand, the iPhone 15 Pro Max's evening looks a bit gloomy. When it comes to the secondary camera, the iPhone 15 Pro Max brings a 12 megapixel ultra-wide lens to the table. It has an f2.2 aperture and a 120 degree field of view. But the Pixel 8 Pro has something more impressive up its sleeve. 
Its ultra-wide camera packs a whopping 48 megapixel punch with an f1.95 aperture and 125 degree field of view. This difference in the overall lighting and atmosphere of the image is visible. It looks like the Google Pixel 8 Pro captured the shot around sunset, while the iPhone 15 Pro Max snapped its photo during the evening between 4 to 5 p.m. The iPhone 15 Pro Max comes equipped with a 12 megapixel telephoto camera that offers a 2x and 5x zoom power. With a periscope lens and a wide f1.78 aperture, it can zoom in twice as much as the main camera without losing image quality. Additionally, its 5x camera has a tetraprism design and an f2.8 aperture that creates clarity when zooming in to capture distant objects. On the other hand, the Pixel 8 Pro boasts a 48 megapixel telephoto camera capable of 5x optical zoom at f2.8 aperture and 113 mm focal length. The pictures look more or less the same since both phones have a 5x telephoto camera. You can see that Pixel 8 Pro's picture has more visibility, while the iPhone 15 Pro Max picture looks sharp. That's why you can even see the water splashing after hitting the fountain. The iPhone 15 Pro Max has a 12 megapixel front punch hole selfie camera with an f1.9 aperture and 23 mm focal length, while the Pixel 8 Pro has a 10.5 megapixel front camera with f2.2 aperture and 20 mm focal length. This aperture allows for better low light performance and more background bokeh in portrait shots. In terms of video recording capabilities, both phones can record front facing videos in 4K resolution. They even offer different portrait modes that adapt to day-night lighting conditions. Pixel 8 Pro has captured a bright and high contrast selfie without compromising on the image quality or realness. Meanwhile, the iPhone 15 Pro Max has low contrast, the reason the colors look faded. The Pixel 8 Pro's camera has digital magnification of up to 30x. Google has used Super Res Zoom. It digitally zooms the picture using an algorithm to produce high-resolution images. Google has also unleashed dual exposure in Pixel 8 Pro. Pixel 8 Pro's camera takes two images simultaneously, one optimized for low light and the other for high dynamic range. The software then merges the two photos to create a more natural, high resolution and low noise picture. Getting a real skin tone on camera has always been hard. To accurately represent all shades of human skin tones, Google has even used night sight technology to make dark skin tones natural in a flash. In comparison, the iPhone 15 Pro Max has a bokeh effect for its pictures. You can edit them in the gallery, change its portrait mode settings, and even blur the image background. Apple has also added a LiDAR sensor to capture better pictures in night mode. In response to Pixel 8 Pro's real tone, we can say the iPhone 15 Pro Max has smart HDR, high dynamic range, which optimizes color for a more natural look. You can also capture high quality photos of moving objects with it. The starting price of Google Pixel 8 Pro is $999. It's 200 bucks cheaper than the iPhone 15 Pro Max, which is starting at $1,199. You could get a Nikon D5500 or a D7100 DSLR camera in the same price range. Many people praise Google for making a phone that is able to capture DSLR level photos. Well, one aspect that stood out in the comparison was the use of AI and algorithms to enhance the camera. Assessing the image comparisons and advanced AI features, we think Google Pixel 8 Pro's camera might win the contest against the iPhone 15 Pro Max. What's your take on this? Comment down below with your thoughts. If you found this video insightful, like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more.